Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Neverwinter Nights. When last we left off, we'd managed to, uh, explore this, uh, forgotten city full of undead, defeated a mummy lord, and got access to the contents of a chest that may or may not have been a chest of death. Also, as somebody previously stated, I really should move my potions that I really want, um, to use onto the toolbar. For instance, I have potions of heal that I might want, just one potion of heal. And I might also want these potions of speed as well. Useful items to have on the toolbar there. Also, if you load a game up, traps that you've discovered disappear. That can be potentially fatal if you forgot in between loading that a trap was there. We have a sarcophagus. It is open and it has a cloak. So we actually have two cloaks, and that cloak looks really interesting. Looks like it's got a pretty unique design to it. We could actually head back and get these identified, which I'm actually going to do, because we probably have a fair amount of money anyway, and it'll be worth doing. So, off we go! We could tell Arabeth that we've, um... and, uh, Aaron that we've sorted out, um the leads in another area, but we're not going to just yet. We are just going to head to the uh, cracked anvil, and from there we're going to do some identifying of equipment. And maybe we'll find a cloak that we want to wear. Maybe these cloaks are amazing. Perhaps they're not. There's only one way to find out, and that's to get them identified. So, here we are. Hello! Hey, I'll tell you! What can I sell you? Well, I can sell you this necklace. I can sell you this. Do not sell that. I can sell you this, this, this. And a plus one karma, which we can't use. A spare plus two scimitar, which we most certainly makes up all of the... Uh, keep that. Which makes up all the price there. A plus one greatsword. Arabeth's ring. Want to hold on to that? Critical plot item. Now... Ooh, another plus one greatsword. Sell that too. Right, what is this cloak? A greater cloak of protection versus chaos. It has its uses. What is this cloak? A greater cloak of protection versus good. I wonder why the Mummy Lord's sarcophagus had... No, I can see why. Actually, why did it have that one? Probably because it, I think the rules state that if you um, if you're wearing it and you're the alignment that actually would be harmed by or would have it detrimental to, then you don't gain the benefit. In fact, might gain negative levels because in theory, how many good aligned people are going to go into this um, long abandoned crypt to um, basically? pillage. Now that's a question. How many would? Also, we have some uh, room that we're going to use to store these, because we might need them. I don't think they sell for that much, but uh, that one looks pretty cool. It's even got a little design on it. It looks very cool, but we are going to wear the one we already have. We'll hold on to these for now, though. So that's pretty much that, and with that we shall go and examine those portals. You'll wonder though why there was one in the sarcophagus and then the exact... Then there was a chaos one in the chest. I suppose maybe he had one for every alignment? We just haven't found the other two yet. Where's the evil and law one? Let's uh, have a look in the temple and pay 150 gold to head back. We have 100,000 gold. In an actual game, that will be 50, uh, 50 coins to a pound. But then again, he is starting to, uh, Barry is starting to get enough bags that he's starting to look like a... Uh, Sarkin, rather. I said Barry because I was thinking about Anvil of Dawn Barry there, with the amount of bags that he had. 
this will return you to the surface. Let's just check to see if the other one will also return me to the surface. Ooh, it's another plus one karma. Um, why did I lock that? And we're going to activate this trap. And, nope, it did nothing to me. There is another plus one karma on the floor. Hmm, no, we'll have that. But, um, <laughs> you have enough bags. They're not just massive sacks, however, like the ones that, uh, ones that Barry from Amble of Dawn had, so they're not that good. Sarken's got things more organized, so we'll use this portal, head back to the surface. Now, will it take us out of the... It will, because there's this portal now. That will be open forever, I think. So, anybody's more than welcome to enter this now pillaged ruin. Just a bit pillaged. And we are going to uh, go to the village, the Charwood village, which we were warned about by various people outside Charwood that it wasn't friendly, but I'm sure we'll be fine. Hello, Charwood. Well, yep. Don't think we're going to be welcomed here with open arms. But let's go in anyway. Welcome to where the dead lie. Or is it lay? I forget which is which when they do both. I am Quint, I think. What kind of disaster happened here? You walk in the Charwood, a town that is nowhere. No more. No when. What does that mean? Like I know? I'm alive, but I stay. Everyone stays, no matter what. That's what happened in Castle Jarek. We made everyone stay. All for my brother. All for the children. I'm not crazy. Are you sure you're not crazy? I'm positive. <laughs> Tell me about your brother. A brother, a monster, a lord, take your pick. All are right and none are left. Heh. <laughs> See, that was funny because... Ah, uh, never mind. Carlet and I are lords of this place, but this place is nowhere, and our rule is nowhere. We sacrificed it all a long time ago. Can't you give a straight answer? Answers? I wish I had answers, decisions, judgments. All I have is what I took and what Carlet won't let go. Over and over it plays. You think you know what's here, but you don't. It's not right, but the dead don't listen. They don't. I seek a cult behind the plague in Neverwinter. A plague? Ah, a bane of the living. A plague would find no purchase here. Your cult? I don't know. Maybe. Could be. My brother has was many things and half of things. He may have been in touch with a cult of sorts, but all that he touched dies. And he didn't. Um, goodbye then? No, I'll see you again. I see everyone again. No one leaves. Not really. I stopped my brother Carrot, and he stopped uh, Carlet, and he stopped everyone. You see, I'm alive, you're alive, but you can't change Castle Jared, and you can't change the dead. They never, ever listen. Are you sure you're alive? I think, yeah. Didn't think I was going to be getting a nice welcome here. Also, those are quite obviously spears, not swords. Well, I get the feeling we're going to have to fight our way to the castle. Which is not going to be a welcome prospect. I'd have preferred not to have to do that. But, I think we're going to have a fight on our hands. I see fire over there. Fire, after all, beats everything, so we do have to watch out. Welcome to the village. Oh, this is a friendly place. I'm so happy I came here. I could have just gone to Arabeth and Aaron, but no, had to go into Charwood. <laughs> oh well, there's someone. The people of this town look perfectly healthy, but there's something wrong. Their eyes are all focused far away, and no one seems to have much of a purpose. There is no work being done, and there is no bustle of commerce. Everyone is listless, and a and a pall of despair hangs on everyone's faces. <laughs> Greetings. I hope your visit to our fair village finds you well. I rarely see anyone new. I want to ask you some questions. I don't know if my answers will please. Your manor is so much more modern than our little village. 
Tell me about Charwood. There isn't much to say. We're a small village. We've a mayor and two lords, the Jarags. Very normal all round. Charwood seems pretty isolated. What protects you? Oh, we are protected by the two lords. Jarag, Carleton... The two lords Jarag, Carleton, and I forgot the other names. They protect us. We are well protected. Uh, sorry, please. You should speak with the mayor. It's not my business to discuss this. Are you afraid of that other Jarek? <laughs> Quint. Quint was his name. Always reading to the children. That leads to trouble. But please, I can't speak of this. Mayor Mobley will help you. Who, where can I find the mayor? The hall's in the heart of the village. Y you can't miss it. We don't. This place is really... Gr I know. I have a talking bear. Would you like to talk to it? That's not very surprising. We're in a village surrounded by undead. Well, I suppose it's not that significant when you think about that. Do you have shops? Merchants? No. We don't want to attract attention, you see. Well, what I mean is we don't want to attract unsavory types. We keep things just as they are. Everything stays as it is. We have to keep things from changing, you know. Perhaps you'd be better served by camping along the Neverwinter trade route. There's a new outpost. Port Last? Port L New? Port Last is well established. But that's... No. no. You are mistaken. Y you... S stopped. F frozen. He did it. He brought it to an end with his stories. Happily ever after. The end. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to go off like that. I'm just confused. Anyway, I'm sure you'll find what you need in Port Last. I want to ask something else. I'm hunting for a cult that promoted plague in Neverwinter. I haven't heard anything about that. Never been to Neverwinter. They still building that Hall of Justice? I imagine it will take a lot, a while. The Halls of Justice is a very old building. N no N No, I was quite sure that they were just starting. Castle Never was being rebuilt too. What with the Orc Wars and all. I, I think... I get the feeling that this place is frozen in time. S stop. Yep. Stopped frozen. He did it. Yep. Have you had any trouble around here? We don't listen to people's stories. We just stay here and let everyone else move on. You talk of change. Change. Y you should tell your stories to Mayor Mobley, like Quint should have. Otherwise you'll bring change. Goodbye. Perhaps we'll talk another time. Well, let's see if your, uh, Fair your treasure chests have change in them. Do you see what I did there? I made a joke about looting the chest. There you go. Done and done. Oh, 25 gold and a potion. That's, uh, I suppose you could class that as change. Let's, let's go into this very, very small house. Sorry. Oh, it's locked. Is this one also going to be locked? Sorry. Get the feeling that none of... It's a weak door. We could bash that down. Shall we try? Let's try! Does it work? No. No, it does not. Various people. And I imagine none of them will have anything... Uh -huh. Hello there. I hope a good thought has brought you our way. Charwood has not seen a new face in a very long time. I want to ask you some questions. Ah, they're all pretty much exactly the same as the questions I would ask anyone else, so we shall ignore you. I will answer, though I find your words very... I guess I find your speech very modern. The mayor would probably help you better than I. <laughs> I like this bit at the end. Goodbye. Perhaps we'll talk t another time. Uh, and another. So nothing happens here. Oh, this one can be opened. Does he have anything interesting to say? Greetings. Mm, no, he doesn't. So this place actually has absolutely nothing. Interesting. Nothing. Nothing interesting at all in there. Absolutely nothing. What about this tavern? How? Oh, it's an inn! Away from me! Stay back! 
This man is obviously agitated. You half expect him to lash out at any second. His face is confused, and he stares as though trying to see right through things. His clothes are not those of a simple villager. He is definitely not from Charwood. Hello. Well met. What? Who are you? One of those vacuous automatons? You may as well be dead, all of you. Soon your endless story won't matter. Who are you? Are you not from Charwood? Oh no, I'm not talking to more of you. I know what you are. I kill you, and then you're back. It never ends. See? You tell your story tale to me, and then you'll forget it. Why? You're not here. What do you mean I'm not here? Why am I even talking to you? You aren't here. They aren't here. And I'm beginning to wonder about myself. What about me? Uh, am I... Uh, here? Who are you? What is it to you? You're not here. No one is here. It's all a lie. How can I find what I'm looking for if nothing is actually here? How? What are you looking for? It's very important that I find it. Very important. But it's a secret. I'm not telling you. Go away. You can tell me. Perhaps I can help. Help? Yes. Use, use the old to find the ancient. The mad to find the maddening. The cult of the eye. They sent me here to find something. An ancient artifact of great importance. They sent me to this madhouse. Ah, you're the man that's looking for stuff. Where is the cult based? Who's in charge? You ask too many questions, ghost. I think unlike the others, you might not return when I kill you. Oh, we <laughs> failed a persuasive role. Unfortunately, we're going to have to kill you. He's figured out that I am, in fact, a different person. Well, we're just going to have to obliterate him. <laughs> By stabbing him repeatedly. Well, the inn appears to be uh, the hive of activity here in Charwood Village. Wow, you exploded when you died. You exploded. Do you have a journal? You do, and a belt. I have killed them. Killed them all, and yet still they come again and again. All of this, and I have yet to find the old one's precious artifact. I am at the edge of my sanity, but I must press on. To return to Luskin's Iron Tower empty-handed is to tempt the wrath of our great leader, Morgrim. Thanks for giving me the information of where they are being based. True, it has been an honor to serve the Cult of the Eye. If only I could have seen Neverwinter as it suffered. Instead, I am stuck here in the Charwood, too tired to carry on, yet too driven to turn away. Hush, here they come to be killed once more. The longer I stay here, the more I become like them, it seems. I doubt I'll ever see my home again. No, no you won't, because you're dead. <laughs> You, in fact, are very dead. So dead, in fact, that you exploded. Is that a belt of exploding death? That might be a thing. Also, there are some barrels here. We're going to have to go talk to the mayor, aren't we? Zarkem, open the barrel like that. There we go. Don't try and run into the corner. Running into the corner is not going to help. Well... That is indeed another place explored. And there is the mayor's house. And there is the castle guard. I get the feeling we're not going to be entering the castle just yet. Not going to be entering the castle just yet at all. Done and also, done. I wonder if, if I solve what's going on, if all of these people will disappear. Hmm. There's another barrel. There's three barrels, actually. This village is pretty small. Very, in fact, small. Is that charm person or animal? Is that a higher level spell? It's a second level druid spell. Charm person or animal. Hmm. Higher level for it to be multi-purpose, I guess. So when we come back, folks, we shall go talk to the mayor. Mayor of Charwood since 1172. I imagine it's a fair bit beyond 1172 now. So, when we come back, we'll talk to the mayor, and things will probably go wrong. So, I'll catch you next time. See you then. Later.